Sioux City, Iowa. A mechanical problem has wiped out this airplane's steering and control system, leaving pilots Al Haynes and Bill Records with no way to safely land. And we began to experiment and find out that, that we could not fly it under conventional means. And the only way we could fly the airplane was by using the two throttles. But what we had was would be like trying to bring a car down Pikes Peak with no steering and try to make it do what you want to do by opening the door on one side and opening the door on the other side to, to force it to turn. The impact is terrifying. The only recollection I have of that entire incident is a sound. Whoosh. With no brakes, the aircraft hits the pavement at full speed. The wing barely catches on the ground, causing the plane to skid off the runway and explode in flames. In mere moments, all that remains of the fuselage is a smoldering fragment. Rescuers race to the scene. As fire crews douse the flame, workers comb the adjacent fields for survivors. Amazingly, amid all the destruction, there are signs of life. We were literally just jumbled into the debris, in which order I don't know, other than the fact that I was definitely on the bottom, I was the last one to be removed. It's a remarkable example of the plane's safety mechanisms working to perfection. I can't say we knew the outcome was going to be good. Uh, I, there was hope up until the last minute. Our passengers were thrown out into the cornfields and out and walked out in the cornfields and our flight attendants gathered them in groups and put them in groups so that when the rescuers did come, they would all be together. The shaken families of the injured arrive in Sioux City, relieved that their loved ones have survived. Without functioning controls, the pilot's ability to reach the airfield at all is nothing short of miraculous. But the true miracle lies in the 184 people who owe their lives to the pilot's skill. In the wake of the accident, airline officials conducted a test of other pilots under similar conditions in a flight simulator. In all 58 trials, there were no survivors. When you fly on a plane, always pay attention to the safety instructions given by flight attendants. Identify your exit row and fasten your seat belt. To survive a crash, you need to utilize every safety mechanism the plane offers. I survived a crash that I don't believe I should have survived. The precautions exist to ensure that even in the most dire circumstances, people can and will survive. If somebody asked, you know, what would you change? And it came out that we wouldn't change one thing. I don't think we could. I don't know, I don't know what we could change that make it work any better.